Today we're jumping right into Em's birthday party prep and her party. The first thing we need to do is clear out this closet. It's where I store all of our gifts and while we've added in some temporary shelving and that has definitely helped this space, you can obviously tell we're gonna need a more custom option in the future. I store like all of the random bits in here. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Amanda from Simply Amanda Lee and we're preparing for our youngest daughter, Emma Rose's birthday today. She's turning four. And while I was working on the closet, Dustin was outside weather coating our table and chairs. They've gotten so bad in such a short period of time and so we're trying to get as many years out of them as possible they look so much better and the table that i'm going to show you it's not finished but it already looks way better um it is finished now so i'll have to show you guys that in a later video our eldest brooke has her birthday the following week so we're also going to be wrapping her presents as well and by wrapping i mean placing them in a bag because that's all of the wrapping i do these days i really would love to be one of those people that takes time to intricately wrap each gift with care my mother-in-law is always wraps hers so beautifully and i so admire the detail of her gift wrapping but that's just not the season i'm in i'm just in the like get her done season <laughs> you know just check things off the list so uh wrapping is not a priority the art of wrapping i should say now the gifts that you see me wrapping are gifts that we purchased, but most of them are for family members because we did do the girls room for their birthday. It's not finished yet. Um, we're still waiting on their wallpaper to come in and a few other finishing touches. But um, when we do like a big project for them, uh, we have like kind of like a family birthday or maybe we still do an activity or sometimes instead of like a birthday, they'll just do a trip somewhere. So we try to do that instead of buying a whole bunch of things and that works really well for our family. I'm cleaning up and getting out some of the birthday decorating supplies we're going to be using. I purchased everything from the dollar store, but I do think this is the last time I'll get balloons from there. The Amazon balloons are just a way better quality and I can't stand the sound of balloons popping. So yeah, if the least amount of balloons that can pop the better for sure. And I think only like one popped at the last Amazon order of balloons I got, whereas I felt like it was every other balloon <laughs> popping with the dollar store balloons. So um, and I don't think that they're any cheaper really at the dollar store than they are getting them at Amazon. And if they are more expensive, it's so, so, so slight. So it's the evening out and we're starting on M's balloon display. Even when we don't have a full party like this year, I do like to have the kiddos wake up to some sort of balloon display and a nice tablescape for breakfast. I just think it's a fun way to celebrate them. Um, and this is the first time I let them start the display with me. And it was super fun chaos, if you can't tell. <laughs> usually buy healthier chips not that really any chips are healthy but chips that have like cleaner ingredients don't have dyes and things like that but on birthdays we go all out and get all of our non 
clean favorite chips. <laughs> so anyways, these displays normally take me about three hours and I went ahead and got into these chips the night before for some extra motivation. I had my little buddy James helping me out with all of it and he definitely enjoyed all of those chips. So I decided to do some pastel balloon flowers this year. This was my first time making them and they were incredibly easy to make. I much prefer this to doing an arch. Definitely takes less time. The flowers weren't super even because the kids helped me to blow up the balloons, but they were still super cute. I have no idea what he said at the end there but in the beginning he said so that's a tip got it camera i also bought um these paper flowers from the dollar store you saw them earlier but i did get a lot of different colors than the ones i showed you these are great i had no idea what i was going to do with them but they actually worked out really nice and gave me an idea for brooks party the following week which you guys will see that in next week's video but i really can't stand doing these they're such a pain in the butt but they come out cute I also got the flower guides at the dollar store and I do recommend getting those from there. I use both dollar store and Amazon ones here and there really wasn't a difference. If you've never done one, this is a quick tutorial. You'll need five balloons for the same size and one small one for the center of the flower. And you just start by adding in the smallest flower to the center and then you're just gonna add in the additional flowers around it. Once I've done that, I like to take some balloon dots and these are another good dollar store find. They're, they're no different than Amazon. And then just add them in between each balloon to keep them in place. Using that dollar store command hook you saw earlier, I added a ribbon to the back for easy display. I was really curious to see if they would work or rip the paint off the wall. And since we're gonna paint in here, I thought I'd go ahead and take the risk, but do not, I repeat, do not buy these. They do all sorts of damage to your wall. Lesson learned, only use command brand. A cheap alternative though is to use frog tape instead, which is what I ended up doing with Brooks display you'll see next week. It may not be quite as secure, but if you add enough tape, it will stick long enough for what you need it uh, to do. Ours stuck for like a week. Now I've mapped out where I'm gonna be adding in my paper flowers and additional balloons to fill it in a bit. I was running out of balloons in the colors I needed because you know, so many popped. Another lesson learned, whatever amount of balloons you think you need, double that amount just to be safe. And I'm using um, balloon glue to add um, these flowers to the wall and I have the frog tape down if you put them directly on the wall They're also gonna mess up your paint. So just be aware of that It's the next morning and I'm up before the kiddos putting on the final touches I did get the table spit the tablescape done the night prior But I wanted to show you guys the end result in the daylight as well as a super easy cute flower napkin tutorial i already posted this to shorts but if you missed it all you do is fold your napkin in half start rolling it into itself tuck it in when rolled flip it over and then pull down your leaves and there you have it someone also said uh what did them look like a cat and he was so right it definitely could be a super cute cat if you position the ears right and maybe just added some googly eyes so for those of you who have kids that like cats there you go <laughs> James made this four for M, so we hung that up last night too. James, come back out. <gasps> Happy birthday! It looks like a little gnome. Birthday girl. Did she open her present? No. The, that one. No. Why? Why not to the bad one? Oh, yes, look at your balloons. What are they shaped like? And look at the napkins, they're flowers too. They're roses, like. <gasps> How old are you today? I don't You're, look, 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 look,
girl. Now I'm starting on her birthday breakfast. I made some bacon in the oven the day before, so now I'm just gonna chop that up and throw it in the air fryer to give them back some crisp. I've also air fried some potatoes with garlic and rosemary, and I'm gonna cut those up so I can add them to a cast iron skillet with a little butter to get a nice crisp on them. I'm on the other side, I miss you, miss you. Take you off, I came me way to strong, cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged, your fur won't hit the roof. Bottle. Is this Princess Emma's house? Mm. Keep yeah, your eyes closed. Let me take a picture of you guys. While the potatoes are crisping, I'm cutting some strawberry hearts, then I'm making a hollandaise sauce. And by making, I mean using Whole Foods holidays, hollandaise packet. For me, it just tastes good enough that I'd rather use the packet than put in the time for homemade hollandaise sauce. But doesn't it look delicious? So I'm just gonna plate it up and then we're going to pray, eat, and just enjoy our family breakfast together, celebrating our little nugget. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly You would think after nine years of being a mom, I would get used to how long it takes to clean up and how long it takes to set up, but the actual activity only takes 10 minutes. It still just <laughs> makes me laugh, but everything was delicious. So now Dustin and I are going to clean up after breakfast, get everything put away, wipe down. Um, the kitchen really needed to be done. I didn't finish that the night before, so he was helping me out there. We have a super fun birthday surprise for Emma Rose. So we're gonna just work on getting this kitchen straightened up and finished. And then we're gonna let her open up just a couple gifts before we head over to her birthday activity.
Happy birthday for two years. Finish out candy before we get started. We don't want anything in your mouth, anything like that. Okay, finish up the candy. Hey, I'm you smile. Smile, mama. <laughs> we'll pull, can you pull her jacket down to the oh, back? Oh, that's okay, valuable. Right. I can loosen up a little bit if I'm not here because I make cocoa. Water? No, you never going to go across the water. <laughs> so you're getting across the water. Oh, you can do it underwater? No, you're not doing it underwater. Stop looking at that. Look right here at me. Look right here at me. There you go. It's not squeezing your head too tight, is it? It's not hurting your head. So if everybody wants to look right here, this is your trolley. This is what you're attached to the cable with. If you see on one side on the silver pieces, you have a number one and a number two. If you don't see it, just flip it around to the other side. She was just barely big enough to do this zip lining course, but she had a, such a good time. I knew she was gonna enjoy it. She was a little apprehensive at first, but when she warmed up to it, she just wanted to go over and over again. Give us, can you give us a twirl? Woo! Your cape is so long. Wow. <laughs> We had such a fun day celebrating M's. Everyone was tuckered out, even Spanky Pup. And next week's video will be Brooke's birthday party prep and her birthday, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, bye.